So the Surah Al-Kahf actually mentions about the power, the worldly power, the dunya, the knowledge, the power of knowledge, and all these things upper hand which a person might have, and how not to fall victim yourself of your power. This is, you see, you are like a self destruction. That your own power. have killed you so i'm begging begging your own ego have killed actually have destroyed you this, this is the type of thing which is so dangerous that your own well can actually destroy you your own relationship your own love for yourself and ego can destroy yourself so because you are someone so you will always have invested interest of yourself and sometime others and allah is someone who is different he is being there is no one like him and nothing is like him and no one so what he says he says without any biasness you see your mother father other they can people can be biased to their own need so you marry this person cuz he is my nephew or you do this because he is this my friend he is my etc etc or you this because you are from uh, my countrymen etc etc but who is when you go for a decision everyone like oh i want to go to a person who is just who is independent who is independent in this world everyone is this on top some someone is on top of them you think police is independent and you know someone phones the higher officer phones them i don't let this person go through give him some hard time you go to a judge the court secret service phones them call them or this person is this so everyone wants yes i want my matter to be presented to someone who can do justice and is independent who doesn't have any invested interest here there and who is that really allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about in the surah al beginning of surah al kahf that he rejected outrightly that those who say god has a son because when god have son this means this is the greatest you may say most heinous type of shirk because son is the closest person to father to share authority so this is worst kind of shirk that's why it's rejected very very rigorously actually so son wants to benefit someone father doesn't want what will happen power is shared So the Quran says, "Wa yundir al-ladina qatu kalu taqaz Allahu walada." And say, "Warn those who says that Allah has taken a son, It's the greatest ever, you may say, blasphemy, because it's allegation. He said, like you and me, become furious and angry when someone put allegation. Oh, you did this, and we've never done that." you are a robber you have done this you have and we have never done and we become so angry oh you are accusing me and i have not done this and it's not uh, it's not me i have not i've got i've not got this quality millions and billions infinitely time worst is when this is putting allegation on god almighty that when he have not done something and you know. so when we like yeah i want to go to a person who is just who doesn't take sides who is that really allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran allahu samad and allahu ghani allah is need free he doesn't have a partner lam yattakhiz walada wa lam yakul lahu sharikun fil mulk no one is partner in his kingdom no son he has taken 
so he is the one who is independent truly who can be just he's al adal al hakam so what he says will be really really the perfect justice you understand me i understand or not what everyone doesn't that, that that is the thing so the what is the conclusion i'm coming to coming to that what the god almighty allah says in the quran or any command that is the perfect justice and the most beneficial thing for you because he doesn't have investor he doesn't have a son he has to take side he doesn't have a wife he has to listen oh his wife actually taken him actually told something he doesn't have a business partner who can take tell him something he doesn't have any daughters who will listen to him who doesn't have a father wa qul alhamdulillahi alladhi lam yat this is we should thank that as for allah subhanahu uh, for that that he is not otherwise we will be in big trouble because you might not be doing something against allah but maybe the the sun is against you then you might not be doing against anything the king but the king's son prince is not in favor then you are in trouble as can so that is a great blessing to have a god to believe in a god who have no partners nothing whatsoever and always his command and advice is in your favor why because he is samad he doesn't need anything he can't benefit from you nor he does need any benefit so when his command when he says something who you are the only one who are going to benefit from it because he doesn't need anything nor someone can influence him bribe him in any way so up to that then now we have come to this uh, dunya i was explaining to inshallah we'll carry on that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now listen to the advice allah is saying inna ja'alna ma 'ala al-ard says that whatever attractive appealing on the face of the earth he don't just like vultures jump on it it is to see what kind of person you are attractiveness i like mentioned that there can be so many things that i will go in more detail about this world dunya things there so many the money other thing and that they test your loyalty but also as the one who have created this world and worldly thing is advising you that they are there for so that linabluwahum in order linabluwahum in order to test them ayyuhum ahsanu amala who is best in conduct so meaning show your best conduct don't actually go for lower standard try to as it says show your best side best as much as best you can speak allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say wa qul li ibadi yaqul allati ahsan say to my worshipers my servants they are my worshipers my servant yaqul allati ahsan when they speak they should not speak good but the best the excellent in excellent way speaking excellent action ex- here the reaction linabluwahum ayyuhum ahsan wa amal the amal the best reaction and the best reaction the minimum standard is that if it is displayed in front of the whole world like this big screen where everyone can see you only feel proud of it not shameful from it because on the day of judgment lives our lives will flash on big screen big on the where everyone can see they will be as uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran hands feet and everything so 
Next also I gave you the example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave instance again in Surah Al-Kahf. وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَا إِنْ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْتَلَطَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضِ Tell them story, example, parable, similitude. That the life of, you want to understand this life of this world? It's like the rain we send down, meaning where does the rain come from? Above. So Allah has given existence from above to, to this lower world. All existence comes from Allah. All risk comes from Allah. From the sky, the soil soaks it, plants grow, they, then they turn into dry straw that is scattered by the winds. That is this life at the end. So your billion, your gold becomes zero at the end. Your diamond becomes zero. You become zero. Everyone becomes zero. The biggest buildings ever actually, they all become zero when everything is finished. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُقْتَدِرًا And then Allah Azza wa Jalla said, الْمَالُ وَالْبَنُونَ All this life, in, because they are the most attractive and appealing things. Spouses, children, money. الْمَالُ وَالْبَنُونَ زِينَةُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا They are, they have made attractive this dunya. Dunya is not attractive, but the cover is attractive. The thing in the packaging is not good, but the cover is very, very good. It's like you buy anything like uh, this laptop or, you know, um, uh, for example, uh, it has a uh, uh, Samsung S22, whatever, the box, and in there is Samsung of 20 years old. That's what's happening. Or actually, there's nothing, there's a fake, Fake type phone in there. That is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. Al Malu al Banumuna, Zina tul Hayat al Dunya. This is Zina. It's the reality of this dunya is not beautiful. Reality is very, very harsh. Because it's deception. Reality is deception. Like Sayyidina Isa alayhi islam, Jesus Christ once said that. Uh, the example of dunya is a woman, she's old and ugly, but her dress and her covering is so beautiful because she can't be seen from inside. And so the fragrance coming, the clothes are so beautiful that you, every, anyone will become a attractor, but inside there's ugliness and there is actually old. He gave the, Isa Ali Islam gave the example of dunya. So here when we say malu al banuna zina tul hayat the life of this world, the zina of this life, the cover of this life, it looks very, very attractive. Inside it is not. Wal baqiyatu salihatu khairun inda rabbika sawaban wa khairun amala. So Allah Azza wa Jal then is giving comparison that real things should last. What will going to last forever? This is very, very important. In the beginning, Allah SWT says also, مَا كِثِينَ فِيهِ abada That they will remain in there forever. This one word you should focus and reflect and think on. Because this can do wonders for you. abada Forever. It can be also both ways. Pain, torment. Punishment forever and reward, bliss, blessings, life, and blessings forever. Here it is templed, as I mentioned to you, that it is said that, where are your forefathers? If this life was very long and permanent between you and Adam al Islam, where are the forefathers gone? If they have not remained, you will not remain as well. Or someone said actually, and now it is, let's say, 1434 Hijra 2022, uh, actually a year. So after, uh, two th uh, 100 years after. Now it's 2022, when it's a 2, 1, 2, 2. No one amongst us. Forgotten story. 
and things. So that is why we uh, we are heading towards actually and trying to understand this reality and then furthermore what Suratul Kahf then shows different colors, different meaning modes of this uh, attraction of dunya and how some people became captivated, how who, those who did not what for their mindset so that we can also actually uh, actually gain something and something from this dunya is the greatest thing which one can acquire is wal-baqiyatussar because the prophets and the pious came in the, on this earth and they took pleasure of Allah with them, diamond of pleasure of Allah. And we are playing with the dust and the dust actually will remain here. Jazakum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Firstly, enable myself and then yourself as well.